the system immediately popped up, exclaiming, Congratulations to the player for discovering a large amount of gold. Would you like to upgrade the system? In Wang Bo's mind, he asked, I want to know how much gold is here. In total, there are 46,250 tails of gold. Would you like to upgrade or not? Wang Bo didn't rush to answer, but turned to speak to the other two. We can't move this pile of gold. Mio Ru Yun frowned. Why? We went through a lot to get here. Even if we can't move at all, we should take as much as we can. This gold bullion needs to be moved. But it's up to us to do it. In fact, behind me, there is a mysterious organization operating. But I can't disclose the details to you too. My task is to find the gold storage location and send the coordinates here for them. Next, the organization behind me will figure out how to send people here to deal with it. Wang Bo began to spin a tail again. If he said he could move this pile of gold like a breeze, it would surely alarm them. Xiao Yi didn't doubt Wang Bo's words at all. Her face was amazed as she exclaimed, Wow, so that means last time when you disappeared for seven days, it was because that mysterious organization brought you back. Wang Bo didn't expect her to be so sharp-minded. He raised his thumb in praise. Exactly, Xiao Yu, you're really smart. No wonder I had so much rare food on me. Can you tell us what that organization does? Wang Bo was caught off guard by the question. He cleared his throat and replied, Um, please forgive me, but my superiors don't allow me to disclose my reputation. But please trust me, I won't exploit or harm anyone. Mio Ru Yun smiled. After spending a few days together and observing, I feel like you're very trustworthy. If you can't tell, then surely you have your own struggles. I won't ask any more. Now I have to send the coordinates. You two go outside to help me keep watch. It's not a problem, but don't stay here too long. After all, this place is also the territory of the Mad Fury Gang. Wang Bo, rest assured, leave the outside to show you and Officer Mio. After the two left, Wang Bo said, System upgrade received. Now I will upgrade the system for you. After a while, the system announced, System upgrade successful. Activating a huge system space. Now you just need to think of what object you want, and it will automatically be placed in the system space. Wine Bo chuckled. That's amazing. He spread his arms wide and exclaimed, I want to put all this gold into the system space. As he finished speaking, a square-shaped mass appeared in front of Wang Bo, and the gold bars were sucked into it. All the gold has been transferred, and 5,000 pounds of gold needed for the upgrade has been deducted directly. Wang Bo held the square-shaped mass in the palm of his hand. That's it. It's done. It's so powerful. With this mobile space, I'll be much more convenient. Can my system still be upgraded? The system immediately responded, Yes. The next upgrade requires 30,000 pounds of gold. After the upgrade is complete, the reward system will be activated. You can use gold to proceed with the rewards. It's expensive. But upgrading is always worth it. The system began to initiate the upgrade process, and Wang Bo's current strategy was truly inadequate. Many times, he had to rely on Xiao Yu and Officer Mio. As a man, he couldn't keep letting women protect him forever. Wang Bo resolved in his heart, I have to become stronger. After the system update was completed, Wang Bo immediately activated the reward system. In front of him appeared a reward machine. Wang Bo muttered to himself, This machine is the reward system. That's right, each time you draw a reward, it costs 100 kilograms of gold. But the prizes are abundant. Absolutely not deceitful. Wang Bo's eyebrows twitched. Is this a mistake? I spent 30,000 kilograms of gold just to upgrade the system. And now each reward draw requires 100 kilograms of gold. The system began to tempt. Believe me, young man, the cost-effectiveness ratio is extremely high. Don't forget the saying, investing makes you stronger. Let it go. Let it go. Because to become stronger, you have to spend a little besides, I still have plenty of gold. And from childhood to adulthood, I've always been lucky in games, always drawing something rare until my hands hurt. Even soldiers spent money. There's nothing to fear. Wine Bo shouted and turned the crank, looking at the screen showing the spinning items, his face full of confidence. As long as I can draw a super grade martial art, I can kick out the Mad Fury Gang, fight the Eagle Gang. Even if I return to reality, I won't be afraid of that lie guy anymore. The screen slowly scrolled to the super-grade martial art line, and Wang Bo excitedly spun the crank. He, 
I really am the lucky cane. But the screen still moved slowly, stopping at an attribute box that added one point. Congratulations, player, you've drawn an agility attribute point. Wang Bo held his head and screamed, Damn it, 100 kilograms, and I only got one agility attribute point. I want martial arts, I want martial arts, can the player continue to draw rewards? Wang Bo angrily shouted, Draw but wait, draw continuously 10 times for me. After a while, the screen displayed the words, Thank you for your support, and Wang Bo cried without tears. Thank you for your support? Is that all? After a moment, the system's voice rang out, accompanied by Wang Bo's tears. Thank you for your support. Congratulations to the player for drawing two thunderbolts. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. Congratulations to the player for drawing a night vision scope. Congratulations to the player for drawing a missile launcher, including three missiles. Thank you for your support. Congratulations to the player for drawing a pack of spicy sticks. Congratulations to the player for drawing a marksmanship skill book. Wang Bo felt like a gambling addict losing all his money, grinding his teeth in frustration. Luckily, I still managed to get a skill book. System, open the attribute panel. The system said, Congratulations, player, your attributes have been increased. Strength 45, Agility 52 plus 1, Stamina 47, Spirit 42, Marksmanship Skill Level 1. Wang Bo felt disappointed. What good is just one additional point? Tell me more about this skill. Marksmanship skill level, 1 increases the hit rate by 10 points, the critical hit rate by 10 points, and the shooting range by 100 meters. To advance to the next level, you need to kill 1,000 zombies. The current progress is less than 1,000. Wang Bo thought to himself, It seems that killing zombies is the only way to level up the skill. This time, I have to get busy. Although I've spent quite a bit of gold, I haven't drawn anything good. What if the next draw results in a top-grade item, or the martial arts skill is enhanced? No, I can't give up like this. System, draw another 10 times. Two minutes later, Wang Bo collapsed trembling. After five times of thank you for your support, it's better than just thank you for your support. A bit, I drew two packs of spicy sticks and a bottle of mineral water. The spicy sticks and mineral water are valued at 20 million, but they're still useful. The first item is a box of rifle ammunition, which can be used to improve my rifle skills. The second item is a martial arts skill called Great Strength Diamond Fist, introducing the Great Strength Diamond Fist Level 1. It adds two points to the strength attribute. When cultivated to the Grandmaster level, it can break a large stone with a single punch. Currently at level 1, a Grandmaster can reach 30 points, with damage skills adding 50 points to the strength attribute. To advance to the next level, you need to kill 1,000 zombies, and the current progress is less than 1,000. Wang Bo raised his hands, glowing with fire. Finally, I've obtained a martial arts skill that can protect myself. Whether in reality or in the apocalypse, I can defend myself. In the system space, there's only 4,150 kilograms of gold left. Temporarily not using this gold, keeping it for future system needs. Thinking about how one day in reality equals seven days here. For the safety of Xiao Yu and police officer Miao. Before leaving, I must extract some blood from the Mad Fury gang. Outside the gold warehouse, Mia Ru Yun enthusiastically opened a bottle of Coca-Cola, her face brightening. Oh, this is amazing. Indeed, every time I drink Coca-Cola, I feel so happy. Xiao Yu giggled beside her, covering her mouth. Your expression. Exactly like mine the first time Wang gave me Coca-Cola, haha. <laughs> Mia Ru Yun blushed. I feel embarrassed. It's been so long since I last drank Coca-Cola, but it tastes better when it's cold. Mio Ru Yun nodded. I remember before the apocalypse, we could always enjoy cold Coca-Cola, but now it's become a luxury. So Officer Mio, you don't need to worry. Wang Bo, you're amazing. Just follow him and you'll have any kind of drink you want. Xiao Yu, I noticed that every time you mention Wang Bo, your face lights up with happiness. Could it be that you? Xiao Yu blushed and denied. No, no, that's not true. Okay, okay, I understand. Blushing. Xiao Yu waved her hand. It's not what you think. Wang Bo approached and asked, What are you two talking about? Xiao Yu smiled. Wang, have you finished positioning? Yes, we're all set. Let's quickly leave here. Mio Ru Yun inquired. 
Now that the Mad Fury gang is vulnerable internally, this is a great opportunity. Do we need, or do we not need it? I have a better plan. Let's support the Eagle Gang. Both Wang Bo and Xiaoyu were taken aback, thinking they misheard. What do you mean, support the Eagle Gang? Wang, although the Eagle Gang is the weakest in power, their misdeeds are not few. Trust me, you're not mistaken. In summary, trust me, supporting the Eagle Gang now is the best way to strike at the Mad Fury Gang. At the headquarters of the Mad Fury Gang, gunshots resounded incessantly. Fiji stood atop the building, rallying, quickly, load up, reload quickly. Let's blossom the asses of these Mad Fury brats. Below, many from the Mad Fury Gang have fallen. A leader shouted, Come on, everyone. Hung Ji said support is on its way. Nearby, inside a vehicle, Chen Ji Chiang observed the battlefield ahead and asked, Hung Ji, our comrades are struggling over there. Doesn't seem good, does it? You don't understand a thing. Those knave kids joining the collective are just cannon fodder for us big brothers. All that camaraderie crap is just to brainwash them. Putting them at the forefront is just to attract the main force. Fiji may have developed muscles, but he's simple-minded. I told those ranks to sacrifice themselves first to draw their important guards to the main entrance. Since they're outnumbered, there's definitely no one guarding the other three entrances. My people outnumber them by at least four times. Just attacking from one of those three entrances will wipe out the Eagle Gang. In another area of the Eagle Gang's territory, the guard was lax. A grappling hook was thrown up, astonishing the guard who exclaimed, What's that? Below, the Mad Fury Gang members shouted, Quick! 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 Hurry up! Someone spotted us. Pour all your support. The guard hastily spoke into the walkie-talkie. Hello, hello. A large number of Mad Fury gang members have been detected to the east. On the other side, Fiji, a subordinate, rushed over with the walkie-talkie. Fiji, they're attacking from the east. Fiji gritted his teeth and ordered, break them to pieces. Elsewhere, two lone guards were bravely holding off the attack, but they were quickly shot down. A ladder was raised, and someone at the top waved their hand, urging, Hurry, hurry, climb up and attack. Tell Hung Ji, we're about to attack from the inside. A subordinate was still joyous as he climbed up when suddenly, a bullet pierced through his head from behind. The group below yelled, Someone's shooting stealthily. Must be the one who attacked us last time. Where are they? The person at the top turned to look at the building behind and shouted, You guys, quickly surround that building. They probably haven't gone far. This time, we can't let them off. Upon hearing the report, Hong Ji clenched his teeth in anger. Indeed, someone's hiding in the dark, playing tricks on us. Ken Ji Chiang, frightened, said, Hung, should we retreat? Hong Ji angrily kicked Ji Chiang out of the car, saying, Stop frowning and go find those dogs quickly. Everyone listen carefully. Whoever finds those bastards will receive a reward of a bag of flour and a bottle of wine. The soldiers rushed to the building opposite, constantly being shot at, they must be right here. Charge ahead, everyone. On the balcony of the building, Xiaoyu hit as soon as she realized she was spotted. She remembered Wang Bo's instructions. Xiaoyu, Officer Miao, and you are mainly responsible for disrupting the actions of the Mad Fury Gang. After firing a shot, you must change your position immediately so they won't guess how many of us there are. The current position has been compromised, so follow Wang's advice. One shot and then change position. Meanwhile, Fei Ji directed his men. Hey, you guys, quickly defend the southeast. We can't let them attack. A voice on the walkie-talkie exclaimed happily. Fei Ji, Fei Ji, good news. It seems that the Mad Fury Gang's attack has been blocked. I wonder if someone is secretly helping us. This is great. Surely it's the reinforcements sent by God. Wang Bo stood still, observing the positions of Miao Ru Yun and Xiaoyu. After causing a disturbance, Mao Ru Yun immediately went to find another position. Wang Bo muttered to himself, The Eagle Gang surely can't suspect. I've arranged Officer Mio and Xiaoyu to help them sneak attack the Mad Fury Gang. With two skilled gunmen like them here, even if they can't make the Mad Fury Gang bleed, it's enough to drive them crazy. As for me, I'll wait here for the best opportunity. Inside the jeep, the sound from the walkie-talkie kept ringing. Hung. We've been ambushed. What should we do now? We can't even locate the targets. It's like they have supernatural abilities. 
We've lost over 10 men. The Eagle gang members started to retreat. Should we continue the attack? Hello, Hung. Are you still there? What do we do now? Hung Jie's hand trembled as he gripped the walkie-talkie tightly and shouted, Of course we continue to kill. Anyone who dares to run will be dealt with. The frenzy of attacks from below ceased, and resistance began. Fiji looked down and murmured, What's going on? Why are there people slowly gathering here? How much firepower do we have left in the warehouse? One of his men replied, Fei Jie, not much left. Fiji frowned. So if they attack, we'll have no retreat. We'll have to fight them to the end. As he pondered, another man shouted from below, Fei Ji, look who's coming. Wang Bo looked down at the approaching jeep. In this situation, if he guessed correctly, that would be the leader of the Mad Fury gang. He's showing himself now. Perhaps Xiao Yu and Officer Miao have already caused chaos for him. Hung Ji stood on top of the car with his arms crossed. Long time no see. Fei Fei. Fei Ji fumed with anger. You're the one causing us significant losses. Hung Ji shouted through the speaker. Fei Fei, I'm here to offer you a way out. As long as Eagle Gang surrenders under my command, we'll cease our attack, and you just need to obey my orders alone, instead of continuing to play the role of your own boss. Get out of here, Hung Jerk. Fiji asked me to be his little brother. I'd rather be screwed over than that. If you have the power, just attack. Stop the nonsense. Ha. Huh. I'm giving you a chance to show off without even asking for it, aren't I? Anyone who can bring me Fi Jie's head will be rewarded with ten bags of flour. The Mad Fury gang cheered gleefully. Thank you, Hung. Let's charge, brothers. Get the ladder. A sniper peeked out from the gun sight, and Hung Ji aimed the heavy machine gun upwards, shouting, Is that all? Then taste the flavor of my heavy machine gun. The sniper quickly pulled back, and Hung Ji crazily fired away. Ha 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 ha. This bunch of trash wants to mess with me. Go die. The intense firepower forced Fiji to hide behind the wall. The sniper nervously asked, Fiji, what do we? Chen Ji Chiang stepped forward and shouted, Brothers, charge forward. We've got Hung's firepower support. At that moment, an explosion erupted from a high rise building. Hearing the blast, Chen Ji Chiang turned to observe. He saw a mortar shell coming from behind aimed at Hung Ji's position, sending shivers down everyone's spine. Hung Ji, startled, turned around just in time for the jeep to be blown up by the shell. Fiji couldn't help but smirk at the scene. Indeed, reinforcements from above have arrived to help us. Brothers, our opportunity has come. Let's counterattack. With that said, gunfire from above kept ringing out. The Mad Fury gang members quickly turned and fled. Chen Ji Zhang and a few others rushed to where Hung Ji was. Chen Ji Chiang helped him up. Hung, you have to hold on. Despite the heavy weaponry, Hung Ji's voice trembled. He had no idea who was on the other side. On the rooftop of the opposite building, Wang Bo carried a shoulder-fired rocket launcher. See you later. Everything went according to plan. This way, for a short period, the Mad Fury gang wouldn't be able to threaten Shoei's group. This gave him a bit more peace of mind as he prepared to return. On the side of the Eagle Gang, as they watched the Mad Fury group depart, the excited crowd cheered. Fei Ji, despite the considerable loss of our brothers, we've managed to deal with them. Bring out my spiritual weapon quickly. At this moment, Wang Bo activated the grenade launcher system and chuckled. He he, just like Doraemon, this storage space is indeed convenient. Suddenly, a piercing voice reached their ears. My dear, Although I don't know which divine entity you are, Fiji, on behalf of the Eagle Gang, expresses profound gratitude for saving us. In the future, if you encounter any difficulties, as long as the Eagle Gang can help, we will certainly not refuse. Wang Bo shivered at the sound, not daring to linger any longer. After this battle, both factions suffered significant losses, but the Mad Fury Gang bore the brunt. With over a hundred members reduced to just over thirty, with more than half of them injured, even their leader sustained severe injuries. The Eagle Gang also needed to regroup. It seemed May their faction would act rashly without careful consideration. Thus, Wang Bo could rest assured and return. In the evening, the whole group raised their glasses in celebration. Who would have thought that the three of you could cause such heavy losses to both gangs? Haha, <laughs> well done. It's just a pity my leg isn't convenient. Otherwise, 
I could have gone and fired off a few rounds myself. Cho Man clenched her fists, excitedly. I want to as well. If I could kill a few of those guys myself, even better. The girl next to her spoke sternly. Cho Man, be obedient and stay at home. Your shooting skills are poor, and you run so slowly. What do you think I'm looking down on you? You practice every day. All right, Xiao Bao, Xiao Nan, stop arguing. You'll have your chance in the future. Who knows? You might even have to protect us. Xiao Nan turned to Xiao Bao with a proud expression. Did you hear that? I'll protect everyone in the future. Then I'll puff up with pride. Wang Bo interjected. For the time being, the Mad Fury Gang and the Eagle Gang probably won't make any moves. But to be sure, we still need to find a new place to stay. Wang, where do you want to go? Where is safer? Let's head to the outskirts. Although there are quite a few zombies there, there are also fewer living people. No need to worry about being attacked by others. I'm planning to make a trip there. You all stay here for a few days. By the time I bring back food, we can find a safer place. Mio Ru Yun was taken aback when he heard Wang Bo's intention to leave. Wang Bo, you're leaving. Going back to that organization. All right, I also have to leave in about seven days, but when I return, I'll bring plenty of supplies for everyone, including fresh meat and vegetables. Upon hearing fresh vegetables and meat, everyone's eyes lit up. The children eagerly chimed in. Wang Bo, I want to eat eggs, and I want apples. Can I have tomatoes too? Wang Bo chuckled raising his index finger. No problem. Leave it to me. Mio Ru Yun blushed and stammered. I want to drink cold beer. Is that too much to ask? Lai Chengping then requested cigarettes. Ha ha, I'll try and meet everyone's requests. It's funny how everyone just wants a little of this and that, but I still feel obliged. All right, let's get started. Congratulations on our great victory this time. The next morning, the group set out for the outskirts. Here, zombies could be encountered anywhere, but this was also why Wang Bo wanted to move here. Starting now, he had to continuously kill zombies to upgrade his skills. For safety, he equipped Xiao Nan, and Xiao Nan, with guns scavenged from the Mad Fury Gang. Although it's a bit unsettling for kids to use guns, in the apocalypse, having guns is the only way they can protect themselves and those around them. Inside a building, Wang Bo placed a chest on the ground, this chest contains 10,000 rounds of ammunition, more than enough for everyone to use. Tomorrow morning, I want to deal with the zombies around here and also practice shooting. You two will come with me. Of course, it's perfect. I can demonstrate my shooting skills to Wang Bo and show him how good I am. Wang Bo, you're truly generous to have 10,000 rounds of ammunition. Tomorrow, I also want to join everyone in training. Xiao Yu's shooting ability is quite good now, so we can do other tasks. Even though Wang Bo will only be away for a short time, we still need to prepare enough food. How about we go to the nearby mountain tomorrow to pick wild vegetables? Wang Bo immediately agreed. Exactly. I agree wholeheartedly. I've had enough of instant noodles these days. If we have wild food, I'll consider it a feast. All right then, tomorrow Mio and I will go pick wild vegetables. Xiaoyu's face showed a hint of sadness. She had wanted to spend a little more time with Wang Bo before he left again, but it seemed unlikely now. The next morning, Wang Bo took Xiao Nan and Xiao Bao to the rooftop of a building. With a bang, the nearby zombies were attracted by the sound of gunfire. Xiao Nan exclaimed excitedly, Wow, just a moment and so many zombies have gathered downstairs. Xiao Bao whispered, Wang Bo, we're surrounded by zombies everywhere. Don't worry, that's exactly what we want, to lure them here. Pay close attention. Wang Bo reassured them. Wang Bo raised his gun and aimed at a zombie's head. Why are you two still standing there? Quickly, fire your guns for practice. Xiao Nan didn't wait and exclaimed, Yes, sir. Watch me. The action in the outskirts was relatively convenient, so Wang Bo and the two kids practiced tirelessly all day long, unaware of the passage of time until evening. In the days before Wan Bo's return, every day he would shoot zombies here with the kids until the zombies around were nearly wiped out by them, using up about 3,000 rounds of ammunition. The shooting skills of the two kids became increasingly formidable day by day, which meant more people could protect the group. Moreover, the most important thing was that Wang Bo's skills also improved significantly. 
The system prompted. Focus on aiming and shooting. Congratulations, player. Your aiming design has been upgraded to level 3, increasing the hit rate to 80 points for vital points and the critical hit rate to 80 points, shooting up to a range of 200 meters. To upgrade further, you need to kill 5,000 zombies, and the current progress is over 5,000. The Diamond Force Leader, congratulations, player. The Diamond Force Leader has been upgraded to level 2, with a leader achieving 80 points in injury skills, adding 50 points to the injury attribute of the Force. To upgrade further, you need to kill 10,000 zombies, and the current progress is over 10,000. Returning home in the evening, a lavish dinner awaited them on the table. Wine Bo, after a day of exhausting training, couldn't help but feel excited at the sight of a table full of food. Wall, tonight's dinner not only has wild vegetables, but also grilled chicken and roast pork. Is today a special occasion? Ha 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 ha. This is all thanks to Officer Mio's busy day in the kitchen, especially prepared for me. Wang Bo was surprised, prepared for me. Why? That's right, ever since Xiao Yun knew you had to leave, she wanted to make you a delicious meal as a farewell gesture. So she and Xiao Yu went out to catch pigs, chickens, dig sweet potatoes, pick wild vegetables, and even went to ask for spices from every house. At this point, Lai Chengping couldn't help but feel a bit resentful. I've been her master for so long, and she's never treated me like that. It seems like the eldest daughter in the house can't be kept. Mio Ru Yun brought a fragrant pot of soup over and glanced at him. Aren't we all eating together? Or should the master stop eating the food his disciple cooked and just lament about life? Lai Chengping scratched his head awkwardly. Ah, ha ha, I was just joking with her, ha ha. Wang Bo approached, Officer Mio, thank you for preparing this lavish dinner for me. You've worked hard. Mio Ru Yun, in her professional manner, replied, but before, when I prepared such a sumptuous meal, it was usually for criminals facing execution. Mio Ru Yun added, Oh, that's right, you should also thank Jiao Yu properly. We had leftover wild boar heads from last time, but all the wild chickens were caught by Xiao Yu. Wang Bo casually draped his arm over Xiao Yu. Indeed, Xiao Yu is quite something. But between us, there's no need for such formality. Xiao Yu, you see, because we've been like brothers, ready to face life and death together for a long time, ha. Huh? Xiao Yu's face lit up with happiness. Wang Bo, consider me part of the family. Suddenly, she stiffened, as if turned to stone. Wait, Wang said we're like siblings. Xiao Nan's hungry stomach growled. Sister Xiao Yun, is the rice ready? We're really hungry. Okay, okay, I know I'm greedy. Let's just eat rice. Laughter and cheerful voices echoed from inside the house. I want to eat the pig's head. I'll eat the chicken first. And then the pig's head. Okay, ha. Huh? Take your time. There's still plenty. Before midnight, Xiao Yu's voice rang out. Wang Bo, are you leaving all this for us? What about you? Everyone, rest assured. I have a gun. Xiao Yu, Officer Mio, Uncle Lei, I have to leave today. I'll leave it to you all here. Yes, don't worry. We'll protect this place carefully. Xiao Yu couldn't bear to leave Wang Bo, grasping his arm pleadingly. Wang Bo, let me go with you. I'm not at ease. Don't worry, just stay here and protect everyone. I promise I'll be back in seven days. With a heavy heart, Xiao Yu lowered her head. I understand. Wang Bo, you must be careful. Xiao Yu will wait for you. As Wang Bo entered the room, Mao Ru Yun softly inquired. Xiao Yu. Last time Wang Bo left like this, did he stay alone in the room? Xiao Yu nodded while looking at Wang Bo's room. Inside the room, Wang Bo activated the teleportation transmission system, and the light flickered. The next morning on the street, Wang Bo arranged to meet Lai Ping and Du Hongfei for brunch. After finishing a glass of beer, Wang Bo let out a sigh. That's it. Let's eat quickly. I'm starving. Lai Ping chuckled. Wang Bo, your kid at home. Just one trip back to the hometown. Why are you acting like a starving ghost? You've ordered so much food already. How can we finish it? I was originally planning to take you guys to a restaurant for a decent meal, but it's been so long since I've had a full meal, so I'd brought you guys here for a feast first. In the apocalypse, we always have to be wary of zombies and others. Food is extremely scarce. Returning to the real world, not only can we bask in the warm sunshine, but we can also eat whatever we want. Living in the real world is truly blissful. Lai Ping leaned in and whispered to Du Hongfei. Hey, 
Do you think this kid is getting rich too quickly, so it's messing with his head? Du Hongfei replied. I think maybe he hasn't quite shaken off the shadow of heartbreak yet, but Wine Bo, you've angered that lie guy, so you need be careful. He's got people looking for you everywhere. I understand, let's not talk about this anymore. Do you guys have any plans after graduation? Lai Ping mentioned he'd apply for a job at some company, while Du Hongfei wanted to start his own business, but he hadn't figured out what he wanted to do yet. Wang Bo nodded. Starting a business, huh? Are you guys interested in the jewelry business? Lai Ping asked, jewelry business, why are you suddenly bringing this up? Wang Bo set down his beer glass. Well, I have some treasure items available at a cheap price. If you guys are interested, maybe we could collaborate and open a jewelry store. Since you're willing to lead us, it's good. We'll use the money you provided for investment. Otherwise, I'll put up the initial capital. The money I gave you earlier, you can keep for your expenses. Lai Ping said, just caring about opening a jewelry store tells me it requires a lot of money. Even if you win the lottery, who's to say it'll be enough? Wang Bo set down his beer glass. I plan to invest 20 million and 2,000 kilograms of gold net. Du Hong Fei turned to Lai Ping urging, Quick, calculate how much it is. Lai Ping swallowed nervously. The current price of gold is 400 yuan per tall. 1,000 talls make a kilogram. So 2,000 kilograms equals 800 million. Du Hong Fei was shocked. 800 million? Are you sure you're not mistaken? No, I calculated it with a calculator. It can't be wrong. Let's leave it for now. Let's have dinner first, and later I'll take you guys to see. Currently that gold is all stored at my villa. What villa? Since when did your kid buy a villa? Are you hiding your wealthy background? Later, Wang Bo led the two to his villa, looking at the pile of gold bars in front of them. They couldn't help but exclaim, I've lived this long, never seen so much gold like this. I couldn't earn this in my whole life. If this is a dream, I never want to wake up. Let me kick you once, and you'll know if it's real or not. Lai Ping exclaimed in pain, It's not a dream, it's real. After kicking Lai Ping, Du Hongfei approached Wang Bo, shaking him, Come on, where did this gold come from? Did you do something illegal? Wang Bo grunted in frustration. Get lost, how dare I? Du Hongfei thought about it and agreed. Even if you have the courage, you still lack the ability. Wang Bo patted his shoulder. In short, I have a big boss backing me up, so don't worry about it. Right now, you guys go find a good location to build the shop. Then take care of the business registration procedures. I trust you two the most. As for other matters, we'll figure them out as we go along with the construction. Feeling eager to start their entrepreneurial journey, both immediately responded, Got it. We trust you. We'll get to work right away. Whoa, hold on. I haven't talked to you about the shares yet. Oh, we also have shares, Wang Bo replied. Of course you do, you're all my teammates. Consider it an investment of your energy and intellect. I'll give each of you 10% of the shares. Lai Ping and Du Hongfei felt a bit hesitant. While we're good brothers, business is business, and all the capital is yours. We're just running errands. 10% is too much. Exactly besides, our abilities might not match up with yours to be considered as teammates. 10% is 10%. There's no need to doubt yourselves. I believe in your abilities. Wang Bo asserted. Lai Ping's eyes welled up. I will definitely do my best. And as for Hong Fei, with his introverted personality, he's learning how to manage the internal affairs of the company while also studying jewelry design. Once our company stabilizes, we'll open another investment company. Lai Ping, don't you like playing the stock market? When the time comes, I'll put you in charge of the investment company. The three of us working together, we'll surely build a strong business empire. Du Hongfei and Lai Ping exclaimed emotionally, Wang Bo, you're too cool. We really don't know how to thank you. Well, I'll just have to repay you with my life, and I also want to repay you. Wang Bo, what do you want from me? Wang Bo's eyes twitched nervously. Hey, hey, that's enough. That's enough, you guys. At that moment, Wang Bo's phone rang. Oh, my order has arrived. Outside, a delivery truck backed into the yard and began unloading the goods. Wang Bo, why did you buy so much white flour? And there are vegetables and fruits too. Are you planning to stay indoors all the time? Wang Bo, what if that guy with the last name Lai finds this place? You misunderstand. It's not because of that guy with the last name Lai. These things are very useful to me, 
They're all important. So we won't bother you anymore. You just stay here to receive the goods. Company matters. We'll take care of it immediately. Wait for our good news. Wang Bo replied with a smile. I got it. Let's meet this afternoon at the cafe near the school gate. After some time passed, Wang Bo arrived at the school gate, and Du Hongfei's voice came through the phone. Hey Wang Bo, we're still not done here. You go ahead and have fun first, we'll come over later. Okay, okay, take your time, there's no rush anyway. I like this slow-paced life. Hanging up the phone, Wang Bo pondered inwardly. Lately, I've spent more time in the post-apocalyptic world than here. Returning to the real world feels a bit strange to me. Perhaps living long in the other world has made my mood darker and more sensitive. Maybe going through life and death has made me mature a bit. Seeing these students of the same age, I now feel they're still immature. Or perhaps I've matured already, so my perspective is a bit higher. If it weren't for the last days, I guess I'd also be chasing my future in graduation season. Wang Bo imagined himself rushing to a job interview. In the eyes of everyone, he was always an outstanding student, but in reality, it wasn't quite so. Compared to the efforts of the previous generation, his talent was truly insignificant. But fortunately, fate had bestowed upon him an opportunity. Wang Bo wanted to become a great figure, capable of influencing both the current world and the future world. While he was contemplating, a group of people blocked his way. Is that Wang Bo? Look at the terrified expression on this kid's face. Wang Bo frowned. These troublemakers, they must be hired by that lie guy to attack me. Wang Bo replied, Yes, I'm Wang Bo. What do you want from me? The gang leader sneered. Oh my, this kid is so brave. Not even peeing his pants. Huh? We're the Black Tiger Gang. Heard of us. Wang Bo looked down on them inwardly. They may seem dangerous, but in the post-apocalyptic era, there were many who were much more vicious than them. Wang Bo spoke frankly. Quit the nonsense. You're probably called here by that idiot lie. Talking like that, you must be ready for a beating. Wang Bo smirked. If so, why not find a secluded spot to settle this? Seeing Wang Bo's lack of fear, the underling whispered, Boss, be careful, this kid's up to something. The gang leader snorted, afraid of what? He's nothing on his own. Then the group drove to an empty place. This kid's really gutsy, I'm impressed. No need for further investigation. It's really just me alone. Don't waste any more time. Let's all go. Kids got guts. If it weren't for you offending our boss lie, I'd even want to befriend you. Everyone, let's go. Wang Bo opened his palm, using the Diamond Force Fist. The Diamond Force Fist has leveled up to level 2. Perfect timing to test it out on these guys. With a strike, the blonde-haired guy's chest caved in. Wang Bo followed with another strike, sending him flying high into the air. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. If you enjoyed the content, please don't hesitate to hit the like and share buttons. Your support is a huge motivation for me to continue creating more videos. Additionally, there are many other interesting story videos on my channel, so feel free to check them out. Thank you.